Buddy, an apology. Michael, honey, it's not your fault. Oh, it's a little bit his fault. What were you thinking getting involved with a murdering psycho? <laughs> like you're one to talk. She's got a point. Excuse me? Granny, you're the queen of unsavory relationships. Does the name Zakara ring a bell? Or Paul Hornsby? Or Luke Spencer? Or my father? Gosh, when you list them like that, Tracy, you really have quite a roster. Oh, please. <laughs> Miss, I got knocked up by Julian Jerome. That was a one-night stand, Tracy. You actually married all these losers. You have two mobster baby daddies. One of them is Sonny, and he's the sweetest. Oh, good Lord. Mother, just admit it. You don't have a leg to stand on when it comes to choosing lousy spouses. It's admirable, actually, your dedication to scraping the very bottom of the barrel. All right, enough. We're not talking about my past. We're talking about the present. Well, Tracy is right, and I appreciate you all defending me. I, I do, but the fact is, is I screwed up. Look, I brought Nell into our lives, and look, I'm gonna do everything I can to get around. How? Oh, I'm waiting. I think that it's a good thing or a bad thing that our will is the one that Oscar wrote second. Make it go either way. I mean, on the one hand, it was the last request that he made, which lands in our favor. Yeah, but at that point, he was already more mentally compromised. There's, just, there's no way. There's just no way that Nell gets her hands on those shares. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what happened with Nell? Nell married Shiloh in Pentonville. Yeah, that part I knew. Yeah, now that he's dead, his 5% of ELQ goes to her. Temporarily. We hope. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess it could be worse, right? Oh, wait, wait, thank you for what you did. You know, the way you handled Nell. I mean, that was, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, it really was. It may have been my proudest moment as a father. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. And just for the record, you know, I may not agree with all of you all the time, but I can recognize a gold-digging crazy person when she's trying to get her mitts on her money. Yeah, well, too bad you weren't around when I first got involved with Nell. <laughs> Look, were you crazy to get tangled up in that mess? Yes, but we all screw up. The bottom line is we're quarter mains. When push comes to shove, we protect our own. Amen. <laughs>